Taurus, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for mid-November 2020. And um, I'll be doing the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Taurus, what's going on for you for mid-November? Alright, so the overall energy for the reading, the Three of Wands, this talks about waiting, waiting for something to happen here, waiting for some sort of uh, results. I feel like you're kind of getting ready to take action towards something, and once that's done, you're kind of going to go like, hmm, let's see what happens. Uh, starting off the reading, you get the Chariot crossed by the Eight of Pentacles. Again, I see you working on making a move, a fast move towards something or someone. It does look like it's someone along the way. Um, in your focus here, the Five of Pentacles, you might be scared that it's not going to work out. Normal. Normal kinds of energies. When we're getting ready to go towards what we want really, really badly, one of those fears is going to creep on in. In the recent past, the Page of Swords uh, might have taken some action here or might have watched this person here and there or this situation to see how it unfolds. But I don't see you going big at it like, mm, it's mine, I'm going to go get it. Not, not there, not in that energy. Uh, interesting because in your strength here, you get the King of Pentacles. It feels like you're in your power here. And somebody that's in their power... They're going to do it regardless of fears, insecurities, whatever the case, you know. In the immediate future, the Three of Pentacles, some sort of friendship, partnership, something looks like it's going to be tying up here. Um, supporting this reading, the Six of Wands. Uh, um, an energy of feeling victorious, feeling successful about a situation, feeling like, yeah, I did it, you know, kind of deal. In your... Energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it, the Queen of Wands. This might be your person here showing up. Somebody that you consider to be very attractive, very beautiful, very everything. Uh, you're hoping here for happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck. Um, really beautiful energy. And I feel like that's where this reading is taking you. Energetically speaking, I feel like you're heading in that direction for the potential outcome. You and some other person coming back, or coming back? Coming together in love. There's got to be a reason I said back. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Three of Wands. Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. All right. You might have waited for this person to make a move. Might have waited here for them to say something, do something, whatever the case. I don't know if that happened, to be honest with you. If it did, it came in a little defensive, a little like, uh, what do I do with this? You know, kind of situation. You might have waited for, for them to do something here. Because I see waiting on your part and then... The action card is attached to them. Uh, let me clarify the chariot. Let's see what this is about. Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Reconciliation here, Taurus. That's why I said back. Uh, working towards a plan to bring something back together. I feel like you want to spend time with this person, whoever this person is. <clears throat> this could even be a friendship, doesn't have to go to that whole aspect of love, even though I see a lot of that there. Um, could be something where you're trying to bring something back to life here. You know, the energy of it feels very, very fast, but with your own energy, with your own Taurus energy, I feel like you're kind of 
like taking it slow taking it day by day kind of thing you know even though it feels very strong um let me see this five of pentacles here whoa Ooh. all right the tower the empress and the two of wands this is your person kind of bringing in this something's happening here on your person's side that kind of makes you feel like it's all lost it's not gonna work out it's not gonna happen it's kind of a lost cause i don't know what this person is doing they are attached to the tower here so something in their environment or something they're doing it doing uh is kind of bringing in this energy in you of losing hope towards the situation i feel like that's in your focus currently like is it really gone kind of thing you know uh let me clarify the king of pentacles there in your strength <clears throat> eight of cups the moon and the ace of swords very interesting it's like all cards are on the table that's what it is for you at this point so whatever's happening here that's kind of shaking you up a little and making you think that you kind of lost everything it's like i have nothing to lose anymore so why would I hide how I feel? Why would I hide anything? Because I, I already lost everything. So I feel like there's a sense here on your part to be honest about things, about everything. Because again, it comes in with that sense of nothing to lose anymore. And it's only empowering you. It's only making you feel stronger because you're, you're actually standing in your truth by doing that, you know? Uh, let me clarify the three of pentacles in the immediate future. The four of pentacles, the sun, the three of pentacles. So many threes here, Taurus. I'm not going to go there quite yet. I'm not going to go there quite yet. Um, there is a partnership you're hanging on to, though. You want to find happiness in this partnership. You want to... You're not letting this go. Whatever partnership this is, again, could be a friendship, could be anything. But you want to bring it to that happy place. And I feel like it was there. It has visited that uh, happy land, happy place in the past. And you know that. And it's like it can go back there. You know, so you're not, you're definitely not letting this go. Whatever this is. Let me clarify the six of wands. The Nine of Cups, the Magician, the Eight of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, there could be communication here that's making you feel really, really good about everything. Like, it's giving you back that spark of hope. It's giving you back that, not even spark of hope, kind of like, man, it feels good. Because I feel like your focus here is... Whatever you're seeing or hearing about this person kind of puts you down into that place of, shit, I lost it all. And from there, you can only go up and that's what you're doing. And I feel like something's happening here where something is being communicated or you're communicating something and it feels good. The whole dynamic, the whole conversation, the whole everything feels really, really good, really happy to you. Really, again, not even hopeful more than that. Uh, and you're manifesting this conversation or this kind of exchange with somebody. Let me clarify the Queen of Wands in the Hidden Energies. The Nine of Pentacles, the Death card, the Two of Pentacles. All right. Something needs to be ended here. Something needs to be ended on your side so that you can have room to go towards this that makes you happy. Uh, you keep on juggling, you keep on hanging on to something or someone that's kind of in the way, not in the way because they're, I mean, they're not doing it like, you know, having flags like Taurus, hey, look at me, I'm in the way. No. Um, energetically speaking, this is a bump in the road. It's something that you just, you know, you might not need anymore. There's a card of independence here, even though you are physically possibly in that presence of a situation a person whatever it is you consider yourself to be detached from it so you're just holding on to it for 
I don't exactly know why, but that's actually preventing you to reach to your person, your happiness. Let me clarify the sun in your hopes and fears. The devil, the nine of wands, the ace of pentacles. All right. It's like you want uh, this happiness, this practical new beginning in a situation, but you're not doing anything about it. And that's why the sun comes out with the devil here. Because what are you going to do? Just sit there and wish for this all your life? Not creating that space to possibly making it happen. You know, because if you're not going to do anything about it, no, it's not going to happen. The universe doesn't do that. It just sends you shit and be like, hey, Taurus, here you go. Let's play catch. Got it? Okay. No, it's not. You, you're wanting something. You're asking it. It shall be given if you participate in, you know, kind of like meeting the universe halfway, going after it. Because uh, I see you really wishing for something, but not doing anything about it. And... Yeah, it's going to show up with the devil energy there. Um, as long as action is not being taken. Let me see the two of cups. For the potential outcome. This is a powerful connection you got with somebody, definitely. Two of swords, the lover is the star. And it's something that you truly, truly want. I don't see you taking necessarily action. Maybe you are, but not in the way that you're feeling it. So you're feeling a very strong connection with someone, a very strong bond uh, with someone. Uh, all you do is ask yourself questions about it, questioning the whole situation, why you feel this way, why this person, why that person, why is this happening like this? You know, instead of going with what you feel. Doesn't mean taking action, but accepting that it is what it is. Yeah, it's this person. It's not why, how, when, if, no. It's just love for this person. That, that's it. Um, I know, easier said than done, but not impossible. So, it's growing. The more you're sitting there without taking action, the more it's going to grow on you. How you feel. And let's see what the universe has. Three of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Definitely a... Um, you're spending time here with people that love you. There may be one in particular that, you know, um, could be a water sign here. But there's a... Um, there's that get-togetherness, you know, uh, in love, in groundness, in... It feels good. So I don't know if you have this person currently in your life. But it feels like this energy is a, the, the good energy for you at this time. And again, I'm not sure if you're going after it or you're having it quite yet. If you don't have it yet, it'll come. Um, let me see what the Oracle of the Fairies has for you to close off. inner child the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child playing keeps us young at heart do something silly and fun but stay safe because you're a grown-up you should yeah yeah uh but yeah that's um that's it it's overall it's a good energy because i see the determination is there for you you somehow end up just stopping yourself you know um for some reason and then it kind of all flips back around on you like ah i'm not gonna do this so that's really a matter of choice it's not yeah we can find excuses anytime outside of your, ourselves i'm not doing this because that's happening or that's happening or that but i mean again at the end of the day your choice meanwhile play with this kind of energy because it's it's fun so that's what I have for you, Taurus. I uh, hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.